Today we'll take you on a special journey to our neighbor country. We live in Germany, right at the border to the Netherlands. Some of you might know that we hop over into this country from time to time. The landscape changes right behind the border and so do the villages. Het Heuveland is incredibly beautiful and it immediately feels like being on vacation. And about 20 minutes from our home, we sometimes visit something special. You might already have guessed it. It's a 110-year-old steam train. Pure elegance and the love for details is what describes the station and the train best. We love to visit this country, which is so close to us. But in this video we travel much further to a place that has no less elegance and attention to detail. Fähre, a village in the south of the Netherlands at the coast of the North Sea. It's quite small and completely surrounded by water and has a lot of beautiful old houses at the harbor. It all started with a letter. It was on a Friday in November that I opened the letterbox and found a letter from my mom. She would celebrate around birthday on the upcoming Sunday and send us her invitation for her family birthday party in a couple of weeks. She also wrote that she and my dad would be in Fähre for the weekend. On the same evening I got a call from my oldest brother. He asked if we should spontaneously follow them for a surprise. Well, uh, let me organize some things and okay, yeah, let's do it. So my brother booked two rooms in the same hotel our parents were staying and on the next morning we packed our bags for one night and headed off to the Dutch coast. We arrived at the hotel, which is said to have been a hotel for a certain period nearly 600 years ago too. Well, we went there to surprise my parents, but we got surprised too. When we checked in, the woman at the reception led us upstairs to a room we absolutely did not expect to be the room my brother booked for us. It was the tower suite. Yesterday I thought it was going to be just a usual weekend at home, but today I stood in the middle of a cozy Dutch luxury suite that had a bathtub with a view. I mean like, oh my gosh, he actually really had booked a suite for us three. That's a first timer for us. From this suite, we had a wonderful view on the harbor. The tower of the town hall, which played music every half an hour, looked beautifully through these old windows. Our son jumped right onto the dozens of pillows and enjoyed the view of the ships on the water. The suite had windows in every direction of the sky and we also were able to see the church where it is said that in the past the pastor's wife was allowed to ride a bike secretly in the nave of the church. I love that. <laughs> Later on, we went on a little walk through the village together. Fähre is a lovely little village with a lot of small and narrow lanes and beautiful places. We had been here several times before and while we enjoyed our walk, we looked for one shop in particular, the sweet shop. We bought some sweets like butterscotch and licorice and headed to the harbor. Mm -hmm. 
Fere has been an important trading village in the past, and the merchants traded mainly with Scotland ever since the ruler of Fere married the daughter of the Scottish king in 1444. Several canons also testify to battles with the British here from the Napoleonic period around the year 1800. Two hundred years later, we sit together in the old fort, which is now a hotel again, celebrating the present time. My parents were super happy that we showed up, and we raised the toast on our family and the spontaneous surprise. When it got dark outside, we walk through the village again to go out for dinner all together. A lovely evening. On the next morning, we woke up to a rainy day, but as the view was still breathtaking, I took a bath at the window to northwest. My son didn't want to join me, but rather jumped into the pillows at the window to northeast again. More ships were to be seen here. Fine, I thought, and stayed in the bathtub a little longer. We took our breakfast on my mom's birthday in the fireplace room of the tower, with a beautiful view on Het Fer the Meer. A little anecdote. In 1575, the French princess married the Dutch prince, who would once become the king, and they celebrated their marriage in this same room. Well, my friends, what a weekend! We deeply enjoyed every second of it. I am thankful for a spontaneous companion and for my brother who had the idea. And I am thankful for my parents who have founded this family. Thank you for watching.